We're talking about shoes today and you're in luck because we've done all the heavy lifting for you. No shoe box lid has been left unturned in our quest to find the top picks for spring 2010. So stay with us. I'm not going to keep you in suspense. So first up, we have this exquisite creation. This is Christian Louboutin open toe. It has this masher sort of fishnet quality to it, and of course, the signature red sole. You may think that red sort of an unlikely color for spring, but not according to the runways. We saw red working very harmoniously with subdued neutrals as well as soft, earthy palettes. Of course, red looks gorgeous with black. So if you're like me and you have a lot of black in your closet, then consider these mandatory. Next on our list we have, where is he? Uh, you see, this is my point exactly. Here's our chameleon. I say this because this shoe has the ability to blend in with whatever the circumstance. This is Mark Fisher, it's from Capizio, and really you could wear this with any kind of pant. With jeans, you could wear this with a cocktail dress, a gown. You could use these as your bridesmaid shoes. They could be your wedding shoes, and in that sense, they're a very practical yet glam purchase. Next, you know, we borrowed our boyfriend's jacket and his jeans, so why not his shoes? Certainly not lacking in boyish charm are these. They're Robert Clejure, they're Spectator Oxfords, and they're from Browns. And what we really like about these are the versatility. You could wear these now with a motorcycle jacket and a pair of skinny jeans, but you could also wear them with a chiffon skirt or even shorts come summer. And fashionista, you're gonna need a good pair of flats, so this is a great option. Next on our list, we have really boot meets sandal. These are Giuseppe Zanotti, and they are not for the wobbly. They're quite high, even for my standards. Zanotti is really known for his statement making shoes, and these are no exception. With the buckle detail and the stud and the zipper, they're really, really great for adding edge to some of the more romantic styles that we're seeing this spring. You could pair them with some military inspired fashions as well. Next on our list, we all need a really good desk to dinner shoe. So that's a shoe that you're going to be able to wear comfortably all day, but it's chic enough that you could wear it after hours. In those instances, I really recommend Ron White's All Day Heels. Ron is famous for them. He's Canadian also. And I bet you didn't know, he has a background in biomechanics as well as fashion footwear. The result is really a match made in shoe heaven because what you get is shoes that incorporate cutting edge technologies, making them so comfortable yet stylish. You know, some of these shoes are just so beautiful. You could treat them as art objects and put them on display in your home. And certainly this is a prime example. These are Manolo Blahniks, they're from Browns. With this jewel detail and the bold color, these are perfect for adding instant wow factor to any outfit. Also, huge trend alert here, turquoise is hot for spring both from a fashion perspective and a home decor perspective. So like I said, when you're not wearing these, you can put them on the shelf and admire them. Next, if you really want to put a fabulous spring in your step, then you need these 18 karat gold stunners. These are Jimmy Choo and they're from David's. A metallic finish is really great for adding a little bit of glam or in this case, a lot of glam to an outfit. Metallics are also great when paired with the bright saturated hues that we're seeing for spring. One little footnote about Metallics, warmer colors like red and orange and yellow look great with gold, while cooler hues like blue and gray look better with silver. Next on our list for those who want longer looking legs, and who doesn't, I submit the nude shoe, which I've dubbed the superhero shoes. I say this because these shoes have magical lengthening powers. When you wear a color that repeats the color of your skin tone, you actually visually lengthen your leg because you don't have that delineation of your shoe. These are D&G and they're from Browns, but there are lots of blush and neutrals out there. So shop around and find the one that's best for you. And last but definitely not least, our number one pick for spring 2010 are these strappy pearl and flower embellished shoes. They're Renee Calvilla and they're from David's. Calvilla has a real celeb following and for good reason. His shoes are really the embodiment of haute couture and they're like many works of art. What we really love about this shoe, the sparkly bottom. They're like wearing diamonds on the bottom of your feet. It was Calvilla that said that beautiful shoes should be the last thing that a woman takes off. I can tell you, reporting here from heaven on earth, couldn't agree more. <laughs>